HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. And by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. Welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with everything you need to know about Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we preview the upcoming Hopkinton Drug Lecture Series. The Hopkinton Library shows off their new magazine service. Snappy Dogs is heading to Kenny Chesney and we have our question of the week. But first, we begin with the top stories happening in town. Hopkinton High School made another impressive list for being one of the top high schools. Newsweek.com ranked Hopkinton the 93rd best high school in the country. Newsweek rated Hopkinton High School as having a 100% graduation rate with 100% of students being college bound. Some of the other ratings for Hopkinton High School by Newsweek included a student retention rate of 102.1%. The average SAT score at Hopkinton is 1723, while the average ACT score is 25.4. 17 other Massachusetts schools were included in the top 500 list, including Dover, Sherborne, Medfield, Weston, Newton North, Westwood, Hangham, Shrewsbury, Groton, Dunstable, Longmeadow High, Newburyport, Arlington, King Philip Regional, Marblehead, Ashland, Natick, Braintree, and Chelmsford. On August 14th, Hopkinton police executed a search warrant and seized about 70 marijuana plants from a home on Fruit Street. 58 were mature marijuana plants and nearly 30 ounces of marijuana and 12 young plants were seized from the home. The seizure included nearly 9 ounces of marijuana that had been packaged for distribution. The total value of the marijuana seized was valued between $239,000 and $287,000. The residents who were leasing the property are being charged with possession of a Class D substance with intent to distribute, possession of a Class D substance with intent to manufacture, and conspiracy to violate the Controlled Substances Act. Chief Lee stated, This was an outstanding piece of police work led by lead investigator Detective Greg DeBoer and Detective David Shane. This is a huge seizure, said the chief, preventing a sizable amount of illegal marijuana from making it onto the streets. The Hopkinton Police Department is committed to actively enforcing the state's drug laws and keeping Hopkinton safe. For more about these stories, be sure to check out our website, hcam.tv. The Hopkinton Drug Lecture Series has returned for their fifth year, and this year attendees will get some information on a wide array of issues from some of the area's best doctors and medical professionals. Here's a preview of what to expect at the Hopkinton Drug Lecture Series, which will take place this fall and winter. Some people have brown eyes and some people have small spinal canals. And then what after much participation and interest, Hopkinton Drug will once again be hosting the lecture series at the Senior Center. The lectures provide information from doctors and medical professionals about various topics. Michael Massione of Hopkinton Drug explains. Uh, this is Hopkinton Drug's fifth uh, annual health and wellness lecture series. And the series was created about five years ago for us to be able to give back to the community and it brings together um, doctors and patients in a friendly setting uh, that allows uh, patients to learn about important health topics and doctors as well to give back to the community. Um, we've had uh, many lecturers uh, in the past uh, return because uh, the response was warranted by uh, the patients that attended. This year we got a, a fantastic lineup, uh, one of our best um, kicking off on September 16th is Dr. Richie Shoemaker. He's world renowned for his work in biotoxin illnesses, uh, specifically um, mold illness and Lyme disease. 
Uh, we expect to have a full house, so if anyone wants to attend that lecture, it's best to RSVP. Um, the, the subsequent lectures to that are uh, a local uh, chiropractor, Dr. Ben, he's known by here in town. He'll be talking about low back pain. Uh, we have Dr. Kenneth Blanchard coming up. He's an endocrinologist, uh, normally speaks to the audience about thyroid, but this year he'll be speaking about uh, menopausal hormone replacement therapy. Uh, following that lecture will be uh, a dentist from Ashland, Dr. Zarella. Uh, interesting topic, he'll be talking about how uh, your, the health of your mouth impacts your overall health. And then lastly, we have a doctor coming from Waltham to talk about uh, allergies and asthma uh, and a more integrative approach to that. So it's a good lineup. Uh, we'd like to invite everybody to come and it runs through September 16th through January 14th. Uh, you can find the information about this series on our website, which is rxinhealth.com. All ages can benefit from this. Um, I, I don't know what value it would uh, have to bring young children to the lecture, other than if you want them to accompany you for the night out. But uh, all age ranges, we see uh, people come in from their late teens to up into their 80s. Uh, the the uh, types of things that we talk about at these lectures apply to everybody. So um, if, if you're any age and you're having a, an issue that relates to one of these topics, it's definitely worth your while to come. And generally how it works is the lecture will start at the 6.30 this year. Uh, we, we started something new this year. Uh, in the past years, they were at 7, started at 7. But this year, Hopkinton Drug will give a pre-talk to the lecture uh, about some important things that we do. Uh, we've been asked to do that in the past uh, by people that um, attend the lectures, so this year we're accommodating that request. But then generally the doctor will talk uh, from uh, about 7 to 8 or 8.15 and then the floor is open for question and answers, which by the way is probably the most popular part of the lecture series. We'd like to invite the whole community. Um, again, you can, you can RSVP, uh, which is not necessary, but recommended. Walk-ins are definitely welcome. Um, but uh, call me, uh, I'm Michael from the Hopkinton Drug. My number is 508-435-4441, extension 111. And the email address is mmacione at rxandhealth.com, which is M-M-A-C-I-O-N-E at rx and a n d health h e a l t h dot com. You can catch all of the Hopkinton Drug Lecture Series in person at the Senior Center, and you can see the tapings right here on HCAM. For more details about the lectures, be sure to check out our website hcam.tv. As summer comes to a close, you might be wondering what a cool beach around the area would be to check out. Our question of the week this week might just help you make that decision. Hey Mike, what was the question of the week this week? We want to know, what is your favorite beach in New England? Old Orchard Beach up in Maine. Red River Beach in Harwich Port on the Cape. Favorite beach in New England? Um, probably Newport. Um, Coast Guard in East Ham, Massachusetts. Red River Beach in Harwich. My favorite beach in New England is probably Narragansett. I've been going there since I was a kid. Um, one of my friends has a beach house down there, so we'd go down there every year for July 4th, but I'd have to go with Narragansett. A lot of memories at that beach. I don't like the beach, it's too sunny. I would go to the water with trees, you know, like New Hampshire or something. Uh, I'd say second beach in Middletown, Rhode Island. <laughs> Favorite beach in New England? That's probably Crane Beach actually up in Ipswich. We go there all year long. You can grab a fleece and walk in the winter. There's a few miles of sand in the summer. You can get a, a free spot, like a free spot on the beach. And the facilities are great. So Crane Beach is the place to be. Hands down Seagull Beach because that's the one I've gone to ever since I was a little kid. So that was the one that my mom grew up near, my aunt grew up near. So that's the one they would always take me to. Uh, Coast Guard Beach in East Ham. Um, pr 
probably uh, there's a beach in Falmouth that I go to a lot because my friend uh, he has a cape house there, so I had some good memories there. Well, growing up in Malden, I'd have to say Vivia, good old Vivia Beach. Uh, it's come a long way since I was a kid, but uh, just something about hanging out uh, on the seawall, having Kelly's roast beef. Uh, Vivia Beach was was it for me. Um, but um, but um, but um, good question. I like uh, Douglas Rez. My favorite beach is Noss's Beach because of Liam's onion rings. We want your opinion too. Head over to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash HCAMTV, and let us know what your opinion is by commenting under the video or on our website under the article. Coming up next on HCAM News, you will hear about a huge concert event that Snappy Dogs will be a part of, and adult services librarian Heather Backman tells you how to access hundreds of magazines digitally through the library. All this and more coming up next on HCAM News. Stay tuned. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. My name is Louise Coleman. I'm with Greyhound Friends on Saddle Hill Road in Hopkinton. We uh, have an adoption kennel here, and we have greyhounds, but we also have started having hounds and hound crosses and beagles. We're always here, seven days a week, nine to five. Our website is greyhound.org, and our phone number is 508-435-5969. So uh, we're open to the public all the time. Just uh, give it a ring. Welcome back to HCAM News. In case you haven't heard, Snappy Dogs is heading to Kenny Chesney. The ladies of Snappy Dogs will serve the major country artist, as well as his staff and other performers at the Gillette Stadium concert. HCAM News caught up with owners and operators of Snappy Dogs, Lisa Volpe Hatchie and Teresa Boyce. Lisa, the telephone rang on Monday afternoon and somebody asked us, um, hi, do you, do you do gigs? Do you take this trailer on the road? And I, I said, we do. If the event's big enough, like for example, we go to the Boston Marathon, we do that. Um, I said, you know, things like that. And the man said, well, I'm with Kenny Chesney. And I'm wondering, is, he big know, enough? is that big enough? And I said, yeah, that's big enough, sure. <laughs> so he said, we need somebody uh, to uh, cater a private party for about 150 people, Friday and Saturday night, either night or both nights, whatever you could do. And I said, and It's okay. for his band, his crew, right. and some guests, other guests. Right. So, and we're going to be fenced off oh, with his bus. Yep, with his bus. So it's gonna it's not gonna be in the general parking lot. It's gonna be wherever his bus is parked. There's gonna be an area just for us and for him and his people. We have been brushing up on our Kenny Chesney music, I have to say. We've had him on Pandora with our Bose speaker. Um, but I was more Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings back in the seventies. <laughs> I like the Who myself. <laughs> But, um, so anyway, they found us on Roaming Hunger, which is an app you can have on your phone. And like if you're in an area, you can go to Roaming Hunger, Hunger and find um, food trucks in the area. So that's how they found us through Roaming Hunger. And now we're dealing with Roaming Hunger. So they're like our middle guy, our counter, our liaison. Oh, yes, that's the word. Terrific, now is this your uh, first time at uh doing this at Gillette? It's our first rodeo, yes. <laughs> One might yeah. say. Yeah. They specifically asked us um, to provide 300 big dogs, 150 little dogs, and 10 veggie dogs, and to have chili and all of the stuff that we have. So that was really great for us. So instead of trying to guess at what 
200 people would want. Roaming Hunger specifically told us what we needed to bring, so that takes Thank a lot God. of the pressure off <laughs> being yeah. first timers in all of this. Yeah. All right, well, they're certainly in for a treat with the sappy dogs. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the concert, ladies. The Hopkinton Library recently implemented a new magazine service, which allows you to have access to hundreds of magazines, plus much more on your smartphone or tablet. Adult Services Librarian Heather Backman explains. I'm Heather. I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Hopkinton Library. And we've just introduced two new ways that you can get magazines from the library on your phone or your tablet or your computer to read at home or wherever you happen to be. This is especially great because we don't actually let people take the most recent copy of a magazine home from the building. They're, they're too uh, much in demand. So this way you can get the most recent edition of any magazine that we carry electronically. And we have two ways to get these. Um, the first way is called Zinio Magazine. So if you start at our webpage, which is hopkintonlibrary.org, you want to click on Books, Audio, Digital. And then you want to click on Digital Books and Audio Catalog. And if you scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see Zinio Magazines under Online Magazines for Digital Devices. And you can go in. You'll need your library card to create a new account. Once you've created an account, you can just log in. So here I am, and now I've logged in, and uh, we have 50 different popular magazines available through this collection. So you can browse around, you can find whichever one you like, and once you've found one that you want to read, you can just click on it to open it up check it out and you can immediately start reading it on your computer screen if you want to do that so it'll open it up in this nice reader format and you can page through it and you have all sorts of other options and settings on the side that you can play with and do things and it looks pretty nice and it's uh, zoomable and quite easy to read you can also uh, bring that magazine right onto your tablet or your phone if you have one. So I'm going to do that now. And to do this you're going to need to install the Zinio app. Um, and there are very specific instructions on how to get access to our collection through this app. Uh, it's a little bit complicated so we do advise people to either contact us or really read the instructions on our website carefully. But once you've got it set up, I don't know if you can see, but this is my tablet in the Zinio app and it's already got the magazine I've just checked out here so you just have to tap it and it will download alright so then you can see you've got you can just page through it right on your tablet um, you can this doesn't work as well on a smaller tablet but you can make it go if I have, I have screen rotation enabled but you can also get a two-page spread. There we go. Um, and you can do things with your settings. You can see the whole table of contents. You can get magazine articles in plain text so it's easier to read them sometimes that way than on the page. It's a really nice quick and easy little uh, way to get magazines. And the great thing about Zinio is that once you have this issue on your computer, on your device, you have it forever. There's no checkout period. You can keep it as long as you want and just delete it when you're done or if you want to clear up some space on your device. The other option that we have for getting downloadable magazines works just the same way as you may have already seen if you use OverDrive to download ebooks or uh, downloadable audiobooks from the library. And again, you can find that right under Books Audio Digital on our homepage and then under Digital Books and Audio Catalog, and it's this first thing up here, search our digital catalog. To use the OverDrive version of downloadable magazines, you will need the Nook or the Nook app, which is available for iOS, Android, and Windows 8. And to find them, you simply use the advanced search on the site to do a format search for Nook periodicals. That will bring up everything that we have. It's a different list than what is on Zinio. 
Um, and unlike Zinio, these do have checkout periods. So they will, you'll have a certain amount of time to read them, then they will get returned automatically, just like anything else that, that you would check out through Overdrive. But this is also a really great way to get access to magazines on the go, uh, to read the most recent stuff without having to be in the library. And we're very pleased to be able to offer it. We hope people will take advantage of it. And of course, as always, if anybody has any questions, if you don't know how to do this, if you need help, we're here. You can call us, visit us, or email us, and we'd be happy to get you set up. Things are going to get very busy on the HCAM channels. For everything coming up, we turn things over to our promotions coordinator, Courtney, with our HCAM Insider. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, August 28th at 8 p.m., it's a new Hopkinton coffee break as the ladies discuss summer vacations, students heading back to school, and the 300th anniversary celebration. Living here 20 years, I had never walked that trail. I've driven I've by it a either. zillion times, I've yeah. never walked it. I never knew. You know, it was I walked there. it with Connie, then I walked it with another friend, and then I walked, walked with you. With you. I, walked with you. With I walked it with other friends. Exactly. I walked it with my dog. I have to go back because every time there's something new. Yeah. And I mean, it's not you know like uh, you see people. Yeah. You know, someone painting rocks and making them like look like a caterpillar. It's not rocket science art, but it's very whimsical. It's very it's simple, it. and oh, it fits sure. in. On Monday, August 31st at 6.30 p.m., Marlene Troops and Joyce Rom discuss outreach services provided by the Senior Center and other organizations and how to connect with them on a new Senior View. Bay Path is wonderful. Yeah. They will, um, if we do an, uh, they will go out to do an assessment. If we put in a referral that there's a need in this household for this person, they will, um, we fax it over to their intake person and they'll see to it right away mm -hmm. and then see what the best solution for the problem that's, that the person has. If you want to know about all of our new HCAM programming, just visit hcam.tv slash news updates to subscribe to our weekly HCAM Insider newsletter. You can even sign up for our daily news updates to stay connected to the latest Hopkinton happenings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will wrap up this edition of HCAM News. Be sure to check out our website, hcam.tv, or find us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton, including upcoming local events. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care and be well.
there you stand.